Hi there, Robin here. Welcome to my next painting, a painting of three men. I live in the tourist town of Baños de Agua Santa in Ecuador, South America. And I was in the church park one day and I saw these three gentlemen and they're wearing the typical attire to the city of Otavalo. It's another tourist town from Ecuador that is mainly focused about fabrics and weaving. Ecuador has not yet lost its cultural influences and for me as an artist, I love their living identity, their individuality. I also love that this particular group of people, well, they tend to be quiet and modest, often a little shy, very family and community oriented, but also shrewd business people. And here they were breaking out and laughing really hard. And I love this type of art because there's so much life caught on their face. I feel it can help change the state of whomever looks upon them. Oddly enough, I had a difficult time painting them. I went through an exceptionally long, ugly time. You know, when you paint and it just looks awful. Normally, my ugly painting time takes a few minutes to hours to break through, but this literally took days. What kept me going was that knowing that their story was there and it was inside of me, I needed to share it and put it out there onto the canvas. The ugly phase of this painting really put me off this time, but I chose to conquer it in small bitefuls until I finally pushed through it. I think the problem was that I dove right in and did different approaches, methods, and different colors. I just had to get used to the new, you know, like you would with a new pair of shoes. I first did a detailed background. I wanted the chaos of the city easy to read, but not the focus. So I softened it. <laughs> and that was important because the focus is about these three men, not about the background, but the background makes the mood and it's still important too. I wanted to use large strokes of bold color that implies emotion and direction. I didn't really want to do photorealism, although I love photorealism, but I often find myself asking, where is the artist in the painting? And what I'm finding is that I want to capture part of myself in my paintings or in my images in the future. My thinking and outlook of the world around me in the painting. A painting can be a mirror for the artist, a chance to see themselves as the observer. This painting was a classroom for me and I had much I wanted to learn and to let go to explore. I let myself get into the painting so I did, and I found out it was really hard work, but it was fun hard work. Gaining confidence in exploring yourself takes time to do. So considering all of those aspects to this creation, it made me grow, and it made me take a longer time to finish. I had to dig deep. When I thought I was done, I took photos, and then I put them in GIMP, a photo processing program that I have on my computer and I flip the image around and by looking at the painting from different perspectives and in reverse I found some basic flaws <laughs> that weren't nice to see. I found one that was like really bad and it was one eye of one of the men was wonky so I fixed that. I wouldn't have caught it till much later if I hadn't have flipped the image. I was too close to the painting and I couldn't see the obvious mistake. I was really focused on the method, not the form. It would have been like a stone in my shoe when I finally saw the mistake. So this is a tip for you. If you want to try and find your own mistakes, look at it in different perspectives, like a mirror or in a program like the one I used. Don't be afraid to work the painting, but remember there's a fine line of overworking a painting and knowing when to stop. And that is something that comes to you like a gift after you've put in all your time and gained a lot of experience, or sometimes not even lots of experience, just experience. Sometimes the photos are not perfect for the painting. And that is where you, the artist, comes in. You can change the background and the colors and the compositions and textures. And that's a part of you. So don't be afraid to put you in the painting.
Like Bob Ross used to say, it's your world, it's your creation. For me, it was more important to finish the painting rather than to do another video. So that's my excuse, I apologize, but I needed to concentrate and focus and work through this. And that's what happened between this video and the last. Sometimes you just have to give yourself growth. So growth takes time and space, and that's what I had to do to get through. I love the results of this painting, and I love the impact it makes. I love how it changes my state to a more positive one. I can see myself in this painting too, and that is just so interesting to explore post-painting. Laughter truly is the best medicine, and I hope this art makes you laugh and smile too. I hope you can find yourself smiling and laughing in your day, and that you search out joy and life is so worth living. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one. Let your contagious smile pass to others.